Good day! Now let's study frequency distribution of group data. Are you ready? Now let's begin! I the cut the blues. Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the Frequency distribution of group data. So, laging tatandaan, when you say group data, these are the data that had been gathered and categorized or nakagrupo na. Halimbawa, the following are the scores obtained by 40 students of grade 7 class in a 50-item multiple choice in mathematics. So, we have to construct a frequency table using the 8 class interval. So, here are the scores of those 40 students. The first step is to find the range. So, kapag range, isubtract lang natin ang highest score minus lowest score. So, by the given, just subtract our highest that is 49 and our lowest score which is 5 so 49 minus 5 is 44 ito ang ating range ikalawa alamin natin ang class interval so given here is 8 class interval so let's just write it here and the next step is to find the class width. Paano ba malalaman ng class width? It is equal to range divided by class interval. So as we all know, our range is 44 and our class interval is 8. So just divide. 44 divided by 8. The quotient is correct. That is 5.5 and let us round this off okay 5.5 is similar to 6 so again we got 44 for our range 8 is our class interval and 6 is our class width so we will divide the data into 8 groups and each group must have 6 data values. Now, let's begin with our table. So, our table composed of 3 columns. The first column is for the class limits or class boundaries. The second column is for the tally. And the third column is for the frequency. And we will arrange this in ascending order. Pwede rin namang descending order. So, in my case, I will be arranging this into ascending order. So, small, small to higher. So, our lower limit here is 5. And the unknown is our upper limit. Paano malalaman yung upper limit? So, you will just add the lower limit with the class width minus 1 so just add again our lower limit is 5 and our class width is 6 so plus the quantity of 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 is correct that is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 Therefore, ang ating upper limit ay 10. Alright. So, let's find out the next lower limit. Paano malalaman? Since we have 6 as our class width, add lang tayo ng 6 sa ating lower limit. So, we have 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 6, 17 17 plus 6 will have 23 plus 6 29 plus 6 
35 plus 6 41 plus 6 47 so those are our next lower limit next is let us find the next upper limit so same way with the lower limit add tayo ng 6 so 10 plus 6 is 16 plus 6 22 plus 6 28 plus 6 34 plus 6 40 plus 6 46 plus 6 51 all right now let us have the class interval so in our class interval we have eight so bilangin natin one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight class interval and our lowest interval is here so so five until ten and our highest interval can be found in 47 to 51 all right so let us have the tally so we start with 26 ganito lang po ika cancel out nyo dito then ilagay dito yung parang bakod so 26 falls here 5 here 23 here 32 here 36 24 27 42 16 31 11 33 21 6 29 another 29 15 12 17 7 30 38 22 46 49 35 27 is here 41 32 38 28 38 25 17 20 33 22 9 17 
27. Alright, so we're done with the tally. That is how you will do the tally. Then for the frequency, you will just add this 4. And we have here another 4. Just count the tally. Then we'll have 7. Here is 8. Another 8. And 5. 3. 1. And let us have the total of the tally. So just add 4 plus 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1. And our total is 40. So just write it here. So that is how you will uh, have your frequency distribution table now let us have the class limits class boundaries and class marks or midpoints of the frequencies of distribution so again here are the class boundaries or class limits so to find the class mark just add the lower limit and the upper limit so we'll have here 5 plus 10 divided by 2 so 5 plus 10 is 15 divided by 2 we'll get 7.5 okay so 11 plus 16 divided by 2 and you'll get 13.5 next is 17 plus 22 divided by 2 and you'll have 19.5 next 23 plus 28 divided by 2 is 25.5 Next, 29 my, and 34 divided by 2, and you will get 29.5. Next, 35 plus 40 divided by 2, and you will get 37.5. And we'll have 41 plus 46 divided by 2 is 43.5. Next, 47 plus 52 divided by 2 you'll have 49.5 again that is how you will get the class mark we'll just add the upper and the lower limit divided by 2 now let us have the lower limit simply lang po kapag sinabing lower limit ito po yun all right just copy 5 11 17 23 29, 35, 41, 47. Now, let us have the upper limit. So, simply lang, ito po ang ating upper limit. Just copy. 10, 16, 22, 28, 34, 40, 46 and 52 so that is how you will get the upper limit now let us have the class boundaries to get the class boundaries so first we have 5 to 10 so subtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 5 and add tayo ng 0.5 sa 10 okay so here we'll have 4.5 
nag-subtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 5 at nag-add tayo ng 0.5 sa 10. So, we have 4.5 to 10.5. Now, let us have the 11 to 16. So, again, subtract tayo sa 11 ng 0.5 and you'll get 10.5. Tapos, add tayo ng 0.5 sa 16. And you'll have 16.5. Same way with 17 to 22. Subtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 17. Add ng 0.5 sa 22. Next is 23 to 28. Subtract ng 0.5 sa 23. That is 22.5. And then, add tayo ng 0.5 sa 28. That is 28.5. Now, let us have 29 to 34. Subtract ng 0.5 sa 29. At ito ay magiging 28.5. And then, add ng 0.5 sa 34. So, 34.5. Next, 35 to 40. Again, Subtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 35. And then, add tayo ng 0.5 sa 40. And we'll get 34.5 to 40.5. Same way with 41 to 46. Again, minus 41 minus 0.5 will get 40.5. And 46 plus 0.5, you'll get 46.5. And last one, 47 to 52. So, subtract tayo ng 0.5 sa 47. That is 46.5. And then, add tayo sa 52 ng 0.5. And we'll get 52.5. That is how you will have your cost limits, class boundaries, and class marks of the frequency of distribution for the group data.